consistent with the Mahkama. God is not like me. God is not a physical body. God is not limited in time and place. And all these references, like to the coming down of God into the first heaven in the middle of the night, all of these are mutashabihat. Okay, so the way of the Salaf al Salih is tafweel. We turn this over to God. Tafweel. We turn this over to God. And Imam Malik is a very good representative of that. So when he was in Medina, a particular man from Iraq came to him and he stood up in his circle, which is not easy to do with Imam Malik because Imam Malik was like Amr ibn al-Khattab. He, he was extremely charismatic and he was also intimidating. He was a big man. He was a beautiful man. And he had haiba. You know, Sufyan al-Thawri and others have said, I've never seen a king on the face of the earth who had the haiba of Imam Malik. What is Haiba? Is, is awe. And, and, and inshallah, I try to translate all the words. You know, um, I'm sorry, yesterday I used a lot of Arabic and didn't translate it. And uh, that's not good for the people who don't know Arabic. But the man stood up and his Al Rahmanu al al istawa. What about this verse that says that the most merciful sat on the throne? He took his position on the throne. And there are different transmissions, uh, as Sheikh Walid knows, that the one I like is that Imam Malik said, al istiwa'u raylu madhu. Some say al istiwa'u ma'lu. You know, he says that as for istiwa, we all know what that means. Raylu madhu, it's not unknown. And he said, well, kayfu raylu ma'hu. Okay, but the how of that is not to be perceived by the intellect. This is method of the Salaf. They don't say that, yes, he's sitting on the chair and it squeaks. No, that would be, for us, tantamount to Kufr. We don't say that. Al-Kaifu ghayru ma'ku hu bila kayf. Again, as we said before, the dissimilarity of God means that we cannot ask these questions. When, where, how, why, what? Those are questions that are meaningful when you talk about me and I talk about you, or we talk about the sun, or we talk about the planet, or we talk about Gabriel or Michael, but not when you talk about necessary being. It is that being which enables us to ask questions. It is that reality that enables us to understand everything, just like all axioms and all theorems of science. The axioms and theorems don't have proofs. They are proof. So also necessary being is that way. It is necessary in the intellect. Al-kaifu ghayru ma'ku. Al-iman bihi wajib. And to believe in it is obligatory. Was to add on the da'a. And to ask about it as you have is an innovation. It's a new thing. People didn't used to ask about that. Why? Because they didn't have to. This is really important because people like Abu Bakr and Umar and the Tabir, they understood these things. And we have people in Islamic history who understand these things profoundly, beyond imagination. You know, but that's not the aqidah, that, that is haqiqa. These are realities. So this is the method of the Salaf, you know, that we do tafweed, and that is perfectly sound to do. Some people say that's al madhab al aslam That is the path which is the safest. But only if you're not literal. If you accept these things as true, but you believe that God has a hand like I do, or God has a foot like I do, or that he moves like you move and I move, then you're in danger. And our tradition will say you're in danger either of the fisk, and that's if you believe that he has a hand but it's not like other hands, or in danger of kufr. And that is if you actually believe in tajseem. You actually believe that God has a body. Our tradition is extremely strict about that. And it's very authentic. Then we have another...